Welcome back. Let's talk about amiodarone and the third class of antiarrhythmic drugs. Antiarrhythmic drugs are classified according to their mechanism of action. Class 1 are sodium channel blockers. Class 2 are beer blockers. Class 3 is everything in multiple organs, even hormones that have nothing to do with the heart. Blocker. And class 4 are calcium channel blockers. To remember the medications for this class, remember AIDS. So amidaron, ibutalide, dofetalide, and sotalol. Their main cardiac effect comes from blocking multiple channels, primarily potassium channels. This increases three things in the heart. So remember, class 3 increases three things. Action potential duration, refractory period, and QT interval. Let's talk about their side effect first. Starting with amidarone. In the lungs, it causes proliferation of fibroblasts, which results in the middle lobe fibrosis of both lungs. This effect can only be seen if the patient is taking the medication for at least 3 months. The drug is also hepatotoxic, so it can cause cirrhosis and liver failure. The drug itself is composed of about 40% iodine, so it causes hypothyroidism. If a patient develops hypothyroidism while taking amidarone for their arrhythmia, treat the hypothyroidism with levothyroxine without stopping amidarone. And it can also cause hyperthyroidism. And in this case, you'll have to decrease or stop the drug. The drug also deposits in the cornea. And it can cause scarring and blindness. It also deposits under the skin. And it quickly oxidizes, causing photodermatitis and blue skin syndrome. It's also neurotoxic and ironically, cardiotoxic. So a question comes in mind, why do we use a drug that has so many side effects? Well, it's the same answer that politicians give when they lie, because it works. It's a very effective and potent antiarrhythmic drug. It can eliminate pretty much any arrhythmia at very low dose very, very quickly. Just remember to monitor the patient with liver function test, thyroid function test, pulmonary function test, CBC and electrolytes, and routine neural exams. Or maybe you can download the Channels app, which has all of these tests arranged in one place and sorted out so you can revise them very quickly. <clears throat> Sorry. Ibutalide and Sotalol are known to cause torse Dupois syndrome by increasing QT interval. Let's have a quiz. So, what cardiac phase is affected by this medication? And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps and thank you so much for watching.